Hey, what is up? This is Atomic Swift. Welcome back to another one of my videos. This video, as you can see in the title, <clears throat> is about the At Games Legends Ultimate Cabinet. And if you didn't know, or if you don't have one, or if you, if you do have one and you just didn't know, do not upgrade your firmware. I upgraded my firmware a few weeks ago to version 5.70.0 which I didn't read anything on the internet I didn't know that it disables the use of the one sauce which allows you to play a shitload of arcade ROMs on the cabinet it disabled it, it doesn't work um, you try to load into it nothing happens like I said it really sucks some people reported that uh, firmware version 5.7.0 also broke their coin ops x which luckily for mine it did not i can still go to coin ops x but i did learn recently that um you cannot download coin ops x from your cabinet anymore which is terrible luckily i have mine i'm going to keep it uh, as you can see up here please sign in to log in and right up here, I disconnected my Wi-Fi. This cabinet's no longer going to have Wi-Fi, which without Wi-Fi, you can't load stuff you paid for, like my Taito uh, Pinball Pack 3, which is fine. Um, I mean, maybe if I'm just playing by myself and want to play some pinball, I'll connect it to be able to play that, but I'm not going to let, like, people, I'm just not going to leave it connected to Wi-Fi because I don't want somebody to accidentally download another update that will probably, I, I don't know, maybe it'll delete CoinOpsX, who knows. Um, it just sucks. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the cabinet. I like the games. Um, you know, if you didn't know, it comes with these games and a multitude of other games. It comes with, you know, Aladdin, Asteroids, Burger Time, blah, blah, blah. But the reason I bought this cabinet the sole reason I bought this cabinet is to be able to play Revolution X. And I'll tell you, if I was not able to play Revolution X on this cabinet and the other gun games I got on CoinOps X, I'm not going to lie, I would cry. Um, this cabinet, I want to say it was around $1,000. Something like that. And like I said, just with the basic games that it comes with, and, you know, you could buy more games. Um, I'll show you the games that it actually has. Um, these are the games it comes with. You know, they're old school games. Um, oh, let me go back here. So, I mean, you got these old ones, right? Like, um, I'm trying to think what I've played. Um, well, ch -ch 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 -ch. Burger Time Breakthrough. I mean, I play I play Bubble Bobble every once in a while. Burger Time. Um, I think I played any of that stuff. I mean, I've tried all these games out, but like I said the the reason I bought this cabinet was not for these games. Burger Time is fun. Like I said, it's a it emulates it pretty well. Um. I really wish there was a way to to downgrade to the previous firmware before it broke uh, one sauce. Oh yeah, Operation Wolf, Operation Thunderbolt. Oh, wait a minute, I think some of these. Yeah, these. Oh, I guess it did come with Tetris, didn't it? Yeah, my bad. At first, I thought it was showing um, ROMs, but it's not. Yeah, these are all games that came with it. I said there's some good ones in here. Um, Bubble Bobble. Oh, that's Pinball. Can you play that? Yeah, it's built in. I guess just my... Uh, Let's see. Yeah, I mean, these are... Are those my pinball games? I don't remember. 
the ones because I did purchase some and then it's got a zombies ate my neighbors too but um like I said the reason I bought the cabinet is not for the shit that's included here the cabinet's cool the games that are included are not worth a thousand dollars I bought it for the emulation uh capabilities of the machine and people on the internet are saying that coin ops x might have been removed from their storefront because of you know potential legal issues with uh, emulation that are going on right now um which fucking really sucks really really sucks but like i said my cabinet's going to be permanently disconnected from wi-fi i'm never going to connect it to wi-fi ever again um just in case somebody accidentally downloads um like I said, firmware update, because like I said, I, I should have looked online before I downloaded it. I turned the machine on one day, because I always have it connected to Wi-Fi. I'd been playing the night before. I turned it on. It's, you know, it said there was a firmware update. I was like, oh, you know, maybe it'll, you know, improve functionality or something. So I was like, okay. We're not even thinking about it. Like I said, it broke one sauce, which uh, sucks. Like I said, I luckily still have Coin Ops X. You launch it. Just sucks about one sauce because if you've never used one sauce with this cabinet, I mean, it's a great companion to um, Coin Ops X. Um, I mainly use Coin Ops X to play the light gun games because I did buy um, two of these, uh, what are these, aim track guns? In my previous video, I said what these were, but it came with the sensor. I ordered a two pack of the guns. Well, I ordered two packs of the guns that came with two sensors, two guns. And then. Um, if, if you haven't watched any of my previous videos while well, Coin Ops X is loading, I've got, um, I believe this is the Coin Ops X, um, Coin Ops X formatted uh, USB stick uh, with the Coin Ops X build with games. And then on the side here, I have um, go going from the other USB port to a USB hub that has the light gun, the light gun sensor, and uh, this stick right here has one sauce, which I'm hoping eventually, I'm really holding out hope that um, they will make it so one sauce works again, because like I said, without Coin Ops X and without, um, let me turn this down here. Without Coin Ops X, and without one sauce, which like I said, they removed Coin Ops X from the storefront. So if you buy this cabinet today, you can't buy it from the storefront. Maybe there's a way that people are going to maybe mod it in so you can install it again. But Because like I said, just with the basic games, I would not buy this cabinet for $1,000. <laughs> without Coin Ops X, the cabinet's not, not worth $1,000 to me. Really nice, really nice cabinet, but like I said, this is what I bought it for. Fucking Revolution X, baby. Like I said, honestly, if I could not play Revolution X, I would cry. This is the main reason I bought the cabinet. Revolution X. Um, I do play Alien vs. Predator. Um, the Jurassic Park uh, shooting game. Let's see. Get A. It just sucks that, come on, at games, put fucking Coin Ops X, make a new firmware that does not disable <laughs> one sauce. Because, I mean, it's a perfect combination. Like I said, I, my cabinet's great with Coin Ops X, but some games do run better on one sauce. Like I said, I, I mainly use Coin Ops X for the gun games. The gun games work excellent. Um,. I'd even try to configure my guns for the one sauce, but they, it works good with coin, the Corn Ops X uh, USB right there. And uh, let's see, so we're gonna. I mean, this is my favorite arcade shooter of all time. I fucking love this game. God, I love this game. If you haven't played it, definitely check it out. This is the game I play the most. Love this shit. Look at this. I mean, it's 
fucking so awesome. Revolution X, and I have played through the whole game multiple times. Sorry, I had my finger in the way of the camera. <laughs> the game runs fucking flawless on Coin Ops X on the At Games Legend cabinet. Um, just love it so much. So I think I want to say. I think, I think I'm sitting too close. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. See. Just sitting too close with the sensor right there. The way I got it calibrated so you could sit back, so you could be back with two two players. I mean, I love the soundtrack for Revolution X. I love everything about this. Like I said, if you if you have the cabinet already and you have CoinOps X installed, do not upgrade to any new firmware past 5.70.0. And do not accidentally delete Coin Ops X because, like I said, you can't reinstall it. Oh. You can't reinstall it. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, yeah, I gotta. There we go. Oh, my sensor's right there. There we go. Um, yeah, so like I said, this sh shit is awesome. Um, please, at games, you you're going to... Oh, let me back out of here. Just... Uh, some advice for um, at games. You're going to sync your this cabinet... Disabling coin ops X and disabling one sauce. Like I said, I, I wouldn't recommend this cabinet to anybody. If you can't use one or or the other or both, it's just not worth a thousand dollars. This cabinet, like I said, beautiful cabinet. If you're really into these old ass games, which I'm not, I mean, I'll play Burger King every once in a while, Tetris, uh, Star Wars, Lion King, Burger Time, Bubble Bobble. But the cabinet. What the hell's going on here? Oh, there we go. Well, like I said, anyway. So that's just... Um, back out of this thing here. That's just my piece. Like I said, I, I really hope somebody from At Games sees this video. And release a new firmware update to make CoinOps X in the store again. It's not something they make. It's third-party software. They just put it in, in the storefront so you could download it. From what I understand, and one sauce that has nothing to do with you. I mean, that's some that's a stick people make, and then they are able to load it. There's no program inside this cabinet that tells you how to do one sauce. So you, you know, put it on a USB. You allow it to be booted. I mean, that's all they do is it's able to be booted. But like I said, really, it's. Uh, it's fucking sad what you've done to this cabinet. I miss one sauce. I said, look, I do have Coin Ops X still, and I'll never connect to your your wireless or uh, to your network using the Wi-Fi or even fucking plugging in a, a network cable. I will never connect this to the internet ever again because I just don't want something to be fucked up if somebody accidentally downloads a firmware update. Because like I said, when I turned it on, it popped up right on the screen after it booted firmware update available i didn't go check for an update it popped up right on the screen so if somebody would just happen to be playing with my cabinet it pops up on the screen they might hit a not knowing oh shit they just basically just fucked it up because then i won't have coin ops x anymore because like i said i rarely play the games that came with the cabinet i play coin ops x way more but uh anyway that's my video um i said it Hopefully somebody makes a way that even it's not on the storefront, you can still get CoinOps X. I mean, you know, people that mod shit and stuff, hopefully they'll come up with a way to get, uh, you know, a maybe a custom firmware or they figure out a way to make it so you can run one sauce on here. Because uh, one sauce was a great, great, like I said, Google one sauce build i think it's one sauce build and look and i mean it included playstation games sega saturn sega cd 
arcade uh, MAME ROMs, um, Super Nintendo, Sega, everything. It's a fucking bummer. Such a bummer. I really miss one sauce. So please, like I said, if somebody from At Games watches this, go back and redo the firmware. Let us be able to run one sauce. Or like I said, you're going to tank this cabinet. Uh, there's other YouTube vi videos online right now that are people are saying, without one sauce coin ops X, they won't recommend this cabinet to anybody, and I won't either. Like I said, it's thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. You can get a. You know, you can get a. Build your own custom cabinet with a PC in it and play Mame ROMs and everything else from there instead of pay, buying this for a thousand dollars. So come on, at games, quit being a bitch. Seriously. I really doubt you'll be sued because I'm able to run one sauce on this. Or Coin Ops X. I mean, who's going to sue you? You know? But anyway, like I said, it's, it's a great cabinet with Coin Ops X. Without Coin Ops one sauce, I, I wouldn't spend $1,000 to get this. But that's my video. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching all my videos. I'm actually going to go play some Revolution X right now. Thanks for all likes, comments, subs. And as always, bye for now.